hello guys welcome back to this youtube channel uh if you are a new viewer please you are highly welcome if you are a returning subscriber or returning viewer thank you so much for always coming back to look at our content uh my name is jude and um today i'll be talking about an important uh, um, scholarship update uh, for a lot of people and uh, this scholarship update and uh, gives people opportunity for them to do a career conversion yes you have been thinking about doing a career conversion into ai specialization or into data science uh, this scholarship is uh, in the united kingdom it gives opportunity for someone who does not have a technological background or a data science background to switch okay so you can do msc in um, applied um, ai artificial intelligence or uh, msc in data science so this scholarship is very important for a lot of people um, AI and uh, data science is very important globally. It has a lot of work and job opportunities. It has a lot of opportunities in different continents of the world. So I think that this scholarship is important and um, it's specifically meant for people who don't have background in this area. Okay. So if you are someone in any of uh, maybe the biological sciences or maybe in the management sciences or in the art, and you think that you want to switch career into uh, artificial intelligence or into data science please listen to the end of this video this scholarship is specifically for people like you okay and also if you are someone from a poor background please pay attention this uh, type of uh, uh, this scholarship is specifically meant for people like you so um without wasting much of our time let's get into the business of today <music> Okay, welcome. Um, the name of this scholarship is called the OFS Scholarship. The scholarship is meant basically for people, like I said earlier, who don't have background in um, technology or in AI or in data science. Okay, so if you want to switch career, this is the best scholarship for you. The scholarship is worth about ten thousand pounds, and this ten thousand pounds is basically for your tuition fee. That is what the scholarship is worth. Okay. And uh, there are about up to 15 universities in the United Kingdom that are eligible for this scholarship and they renew their slot every year. So you don't have the same list of universities every year for the OFS scholarship. So what I will do is that I will also drop the link to the OFS website on the description section. You go there and then check the list of eligible universities for this scholarship. Remember, for the eligibility test, you need to apply to any of these two um, uh, two programs, MSc in Applied Data Science and MSc in Applied Artificial Intelligence. These are the two courses that you need to apply. Okay, so once you apply to these courses, you get your admission, whether it is conditional or unconditional admission, you get it, you get your student number. But please, if it's, an, if it's a conditional admission, try as much as possible to meet the conditions of your admission. After you have gotten your admission in MSc in Applied uh, Artificial Intelligence or MSc in Data Science, you now wait for the time when the scholarship will be open. Okay, every university have their different timeline in which they advertise for the OFS scholarship. So uh, you have to pay attention to the university you are interested in and then make sure you get admission in this university in these two courses ahead of time while you are waiting. Okay. So I'll give you the list of the universities right now. So the following are the universities that are eligible for the OFS scholarship for the 2023-2024 session. Okay, uh, I'm going to read them out to you. So please pay attention. Uh, we have the Birmingham City University. We have the Durham University. We have the Lancaster University, the Newcastle University, Nottingham Trent University, Queen Mary University of London, Teesside University, University of Bath, University of Edinburgh, University of Glasgow, University of Manchester, University of Sheffield. So please, these are the universities that are eligible for this scholarship for 2023-2024 academic year. Okay, so if you are not watching this video right now or within 2023, please, if you are watching this video maybe in 2024, Please make sure you go back to the OFS website 
and see the list of eligible universities for this scholarship because they update their list every year. It is not the same list of universities that um, have the scholarship the previous year, we'll have it the following year, okay? So they actually bid for these scholarship positions. Let's talk about the eligibility criteria for the OFS scholarship. Uh, number one there is that uh, you must not have a tech background or a data science background. That is one of the criteria. So they need people who don't have this background in these areas. They want them to come in. If you already have a background in tech, please, you are not eligible for the OFS scholarship. Please pay attention and note this, okay? Um, they also give priority to some group of people. And um, the group of people include people who are from the black ethnicity. So if you're from a black ethnicity, you have a higher priority to get the scholarship. Um, also, they also give priority to people who are from a very poor background, poor economic background. They also give people who have lived in foster homes, okay? Uh, also, also people who um, whose parents are, are, are not, uh, did not actually train them, whose parents were not there throughout their upbringing. Okay, maybe those who have uh, been trained in foster home or those who lost their parents along the line or any of, any of the uh, situations that make you uh, vulnerable or in, uh, unable to afford higher education. Okay, these are some of the criteria that, the eligibility criteria that you have to meet. You can meet any of them. You must not meet all of them, please. Any of them. Also, they also give priority to women too. So if you are a woman, you also have high priority of uh, getting this uh, scholarship. That does not mean that men don't get the scholarship. Okay, so males can still get the scholarship, but if you are a female, you have a higher priority and um, have a higher chance of getting the scholarship. Also, if you have uh, a military background, okay, it's also an advantage for applying for this scholarship. So please, if your parents are military men or you have a military experience or whatever, okay, or you're related to someone with a military background, please, these are some of the criteria you can use when you are making your application, okay? So you mention these important stuff. Since it is important to them and you have this eligibility criteria, please mention them during your application. The courses that are eligible for this scholarship, they are just two in number. MSc in Applied Artificial Intelligence, MSc in Applied Data Science only. Please make sure you get your admission in any of these two uh, programs. Please don't go for any other program. Any other program you go for, they are not eligible. Okay, please these two programs. Just make sure you get admission there, whether conditional or unconditional. But please, during the scholarship application, try as much as possible to get an unconditional offer. The application process is very simple. I have said it several times. Please, I'm repeating it now. The application process is very simple. Make application to the program, MSc Applied Data Science or MSc Applied Artificial Intelligence, to any of the eligible universities. Get your admission and then in this university website, you will see the link to apply for the OFS scholarship. Every university have a different link and a different um, advertisement and deadline for the application. Okay, so once you have decided to the universities to apply, please go to their university website and then apply through the link. The, the application process for the scholarship itself is also simple. You just put in your student ID and your basic uh, bio uh, data, and then you write a motivation letter. I have a video on how to write a motivation letter on my channel. So you can go there and watch and see how you can write a good motivation letter. Having in mind the important details about the scholarship. Remember, so if you are a female and you are someone that is from a, a black background and maybe you, you, you are trained in a foster home or maybe you are coming from a poor background and then also you have, uh, of course, you must, have a, uh, you must not have a background in tech. These are some of the things you put in your motivation letter when you are writing the reason why you are applying for the scholarship. So I have a well detailed video about this. You can watch my video on the secrets of writing a good motivation letter, okay? According to the selection committee, priorities will be given to people uh, who are disabled, people from a poor background, people, uh, females, okay? And uh, so um, people who are from a foster home, so if you have any of these conditions and so many other conditions that you think the selection committee should be aware of, please put it in your application, like I said earlier, and make your application. It is very important. It's going to improve your chances of getting this scholarship. The selection committee states that they are going to send successful candidates 
an email notification to notify them of their success. Whereas uh, those who don't uh, receive an email notification means that they are unsuccessful. Okay, so I encourage you to make application to more than one of those universities. Don't just make application to University of Edinburgh and then you relax. Make application to more than one. There are over 10 universities that are eligible for this scholarship. So make applications to all of them. And then you wait. You increase your chances of getting one of these scholarships once you have made applications to as many as possible. So guys, this is an important scholarship. I really encourage you, please, go for this scholarship. If you are not someone with a tech background, you are not someone with a data science background, please go for it. Uh, technology, AI, and um, data science is a highly sorted out uh, skill or, or, or you know, program uh, that someone needs to have in this 21st century, please. So if you have the opportunity, if you have the time, please go for this scholarship. And £10,000 is a whole lot. It's really going to augment your tuition fee and enable you to study in the United Kingdom with less financial burden. Okay. So I, I know that the scholarship uh, is not entirely full because £10,000 pounds is not the entire cost of the tuition fee but at least it's, it's more than 70 percent of the tuition fee and it gives you a lot of freedom to actually uh, study very well and get your degree after getting this master's degree you really have a lot of job opportunities in ai job opportunities in data science so i encourage you to go for it okay guys we have come to the end of this video please if you like this content please i beg you like this video please Put a comment on the comment section and uh, please share this video to your loved ones anyone you think that needs this video please share to them and also please subscribe to our channel thank you so much for coming back to watch this video thank you for staying till the end of this video until we see you next time please stay healthy stay fine and keep chasing your dream bye